Double upload Matt in the building. What's good, y'all? Hope you're having a blessed day and amen. As you know, anytime we double upload on this channel, you gotta leave a like. I do not make the rules, I just enforce them. You also know anytime it's a double upload, it's also some big time news and we're gonna dive straight into it. So if you're new to this channel and you love basketball content, what are you doing? Join the family, hit that subscribe button, and leave a like for more. And without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Alrighty righty, so the number one overall player known as Imani Bates deleted all of his pictures off his Instagram around four to five months ago and the reason for that was because one of his very close friends did unfortunately happen to pass away. And let's just say this really hit him hard and it showed on social media because he deleted every single picture off his Instagram and he even deleted his Instagram for a while before reactivating it. Whenever he did finally reactivate his Instagram, he didn't post but yesterday and today he posted two pictures back to back. I don't really like to make a lot of assumptions but it's very obvious and clear that what he went through is still affecting him. On the first post it was just a picture of him but when you pay attention to the caption it says a lot. His caption read quote unquote I just want to take it back to when a dude's life was normal. Young dude 16 going through grown man things. 100 emoji. You don't really have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that he's saying he's gone through a lot of things at a very young age. But however, it doesn't even stop there because earlier today he posted another post, well actually it was a video and here's what that said. It was a video, basically a highlight reel of him playing, but the picture that covers the video was a screenshot of him and his friend and it says LLN which means long live his friend. And for the caption all he put was a period. And I gotta say before I go any farther I wasn't even going to make this video until a couple people started tagging me in this post on the comment section and I saw this combo that said double upload Matt in the building and it had like 18 to 20 likes. That's just awesome and it really made my day and I was like hey I gotta give the fans what they want. Anyways continuing on and moving on with Imani it doesn't just stop with the post there's a lot of big things to talk about. With his friend passing away, it happened four to five months ago like I stated, this was a very detrimental loss to him. This wasn't just like Imani's normal best friend. He even claimed that they were so close they was almost brothers. In his Instagram bio, he's had hashtag LLN for a while now and all of his stories on Instagram he still has pictures of him and his friend. Even though this happened four to five months ago, it's still somewhat recent and it's very clear it's still affecting him. As basketball fans, we get so caught up in these guys, we don't even pay attention and realize that they're normal humans too and they have real life struggles. My prayers and thoughts and as a basketball community, all of our prayers and thoughts should go out to Imani still because he needs them. Yes, we all know Bates as being the number one overall player in the country, but he's much more than that and we need to be there for him when it counts. As a basketball player, he seems fine out there on the court. He's been playing pretty well this season, but mentally, we don't know how he's doing and just by going off of these Instagram posts, it may not be that well. In one post, he talked about how he's been struggling at a young age and in the next one he put just a period as the caption and as a cover picture for the video he put his friend that passed away. Like always we want to see all of our top high school athletes go out there and have fun but at the same time we want to see him in a good mental state as well. I've said it before on this channel but I'm gonna say it again tough times don't last tough people do and what doesn't kill you is going to make you stronger. Even though Imani may or may not be struggling with this, it's just gonna make him stronger from here on out. This is also gonna help him mature at a young age. Even though he doesn't wanna do that right now, it's gonna be best for him in the future. I'm wishing Imani and his family and everyone involved that's suffering from his loss still the best. And once again, my prayers and our prayers should go out to them. As always, I'm curious. Let me know what you think about Imani's Bates pictures. Is he struggling? Does he show signs? of that let me know but hey man with all this being said that's gonna wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something if you're new to the channel what are you doing join the family hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more and as always let's be great i'm out y'all peace